Lava cans are a group of three Bronze Age cans located along a gravel terrace raised above the River Nairn near Inverness. It is also situated right next to the Culloden Battlefield site. This significant Bronze Age cemetery complex of passes graves, ring cairns, curb cairns and standing stones is still exceptionally well preserved. Excavations have found evidence for farming and a possible settlement on the site before any of these monuments were built. The settlement was replaced by the burial cairns about 2000 BC. It seems probable that some of the stone used to build the cairns have been taken from the occupation site and perhaps built on an earlier sacred site. The three well-preserved cairns each have a central chamber, but while the two outer cairns have entrance passages, the central one is enclosed. Each cairn is surrounded by a ring of standing stones, and many of the stones used to construct them have pecked or ground out cut marks on them. At about 1000 BC, the cemetery was reused and new burials were placed in some of the existing cairns at this time. Three smaller monuments were built, including a curb cairn. The passages of the two cairns with entrance passages are aligned towards the southwest, suggesting that the builders identified midwinter sunset as an important time of year. The standing stones also suggest a focus on the midwinter sunset. They are graded in height, with the tallest facing the setting sun in the southwest. The Cairns burial chambers were robbed out in antiquity. But from similar burials elsewhere, it is probable that only one or two people would have been buried in each Cairn. As it would have taken a large number of people to build the Cairns, it seems obvious that these represented the burials of important individuals within society. And here, we switch from a brief history of the site to a paranormal investigation conducted there by the Moray Ghost Hunters back in 2013, and to Paul Hewitt, who recorded the EVP session during the investigation. And this investigation was conducted either in March or April of 2013 by the Moray Ghost Hunters in cooperation with another uh, group of paranormal investigators. Unfortunately, many of the group have long since gone their separate ways and the leader of the Mori group, Wilmer Carnegie Brown, passed away early this year. Any documentation of this investigation is seemingly no longer available and so all that remains is this recording taken on my old mobile phone, wee dinky Galaxy Samsung at the time. The weather was overcast and extremely windy, but this died down during the investigation about 7.30 in the evening and lasted for about an hour, only to pick up again as we left the area of the Clava Cairns. Uh, the equipment in use during the investigation was two EMF meters and possibly a PSB device. I used the EMF meter for one end of the Cairns where a group of World War II RAF aircrew had made themselves known to a Mori ghost hunter investigator a year before I joined. Alas, this time with me, <laughs> No success. The main part of the investigation centred around the largest cairn where Wilma Carnegie Brown is heard on the recording to say that she was getting psychic impressions of human sacrifices and pagan rituals. And sadly, I forget what the other investigators were feeling at the time and it is not recorded. We finally departed at roughly 20-45 hours as some of us were going to nearby Culloden Battlefield. It was at that time, at the car park, that I reviewed my recording, presented here, that we first heard unidentifiable, but clearly there, EVPs. One of the investigators from the other group also listened to the recording and found it to be either unsettling or not friendly sounding. And towards the end of the investigation at the Cairns, 
It was the possibility that I witnessed two anomalous pinpricks of light from some trees in the area. So this then is my recording taken in the Clavacairns back in 2013. Anyone seen someone with a hat with a jewel on it? A meal. A hat with a jewel. Is that a red jewel? A hat looks gold. Somebody high. It's like a here. It's close to his head. But the, the jewel's here. The hat. Like a priest. Oh, oh, a priest. Oh, a priest. Oh, a master of ceremonies. Master of ceremonies. For that. Sacrificial rites. Mm -hmm. That's what he's got. Obviously, yeah. It's in here. But it's not calm, really. Is anyone getting anything in the head? She's a bit busy. <coughs> voice of I'm not getting a voice since the words are like sleep. <coughs> sheep to slaughter. Like you take sheep to slaughter? Mm-hmm. Or to the slaughter. Right, okay. I certainly wouldn't do a full night investigation in this place. No. I'd be at the entrance. <laughs> Jenny. They can't see the orbs at the minute because it's too light. Can't even see you, Debbie. Can you? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> That's weird. What does it look like? So I was just moving in there. You've <laughs> turned into a rock. No. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a sign of all That's just nothing. Nothing? Nope, nothing. That's what it is. Sounds it for Santa Cruz. It's a nice night. It's so calm. It's not gone. It's a weird place. This is a really strange place. I feel a bit lightheaded though. Oh, it's reasonable. Ah, it's oh, just energy. Just trying to leave you. Don't leave you alone. Oh. I'm not happy with this place. Sorry, ladies, but I'm not happy with this place.